Hi, I'm Snow. We're here. We're G3 Live. We're here at the Classic Cafe. We're fixing to go in, have some great food and good times. Please come join us. Well, although I'm just by myself right now because Galen is late again. I made it. I made it. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> always late. Always late. Well, I hear there's a history to this restaurant. Well, there is. They opened in 1985. Yeah. Uh, there was a, a, a guy, Brad Metz. I believe his name is uh, that that opened the place. Right. And um, they they have wonderful food here. Uh, so come on in and join us. Now what? Now what I heard there was Ike here that came through here and flooded this place. It did. It did. Ike came through and midway up the door inside, you can see where the the line is where the flood completely overtook the restaurant. Now, when Ike was here, they were still serving food here, even though they were in the inner tubes. No, they were not in inner tubes. The, the place in back took them over, and they did not miss one beat in, miss, in, in serving the food. So, so what that means is, what that means is, I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Come join us. Come on. Okay, this is where... The floodwaters came up to during Ike at Classic Cafe. This is how high. Go down to the floor. This is how high the water was. As you see, as we walk in the restaurant, snow is opening up to the door. It's the first thing you see when you walk in Classic Cafe. Pies. Pies forever. Now, as we're walking inside here, you get to see what the inside the restaurant looks like. I got a TV in here and different seating and all. It's like it's all, all good. Let's go now, in. another part of Classic Cafe is they have a bar in the back, which a lot of people come here that live in the community area, as you're panning around. You know. As you see, it's a nice little area right here. Now that we're inside Classic Cafe, and uh, where, where's it located at? Where's this place located at? In Seabrook. Oh, that's right. Why that's do you right. never know where we are? <laughs> I'm oh always my lost. Goodness. I'm always lost. Yeah, you're and, just helping the food. I know. And it's good food here. You know, I heard there's a little bit more to history to this restaurant. Well, there is. Uh, they were opened in uh, 1985. Right. And uh, I came in and uh, flooded have, the place. That's yeah, true, which yeah. we showed before. Yeah. And uh, but they recovered. They never missed a beat. They cooked their food uh, out back at the restaurant. Uh, I supported wonder, them. I wonder if they waited around the inner tubes when they were doing this. Well, possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure. I wasn't here. Yeah. So I don't know. Anyway, we got some great, great food uh, to share with you guys today. And uh, now, first, what I've got here. Now, what what we're first to start with breakfast here. We'll take a look down here. And you'll see, I've got a fruit club right here and with date bread yeah, date bread yeah date bread it got bananas in here strawberries there's a kiwi yes and what else we got here we got some uh with cream, cream cheese with cream cheese a uh, beautiful beautiful oh look at that presentation at that. Ooh, it looks good i'm gonna have to get a uh, fork on this one right here and it looks so good it's like I've oh never... you don't need a fork you can oh, just yeah. pick that up with your oh, hand I can? I can? yeah oh let me do that let me do that I can't, it's falling apart. That's a club. Mm. That's what club's all about. Mm. So what do you have? This. Well, the uh, thick date bread, the date bread is like, uh, it's a moist date bread, which tastes really good, and it goes with the fruit really good. Try try some of that. I want to. And with this date bread, I have a frozen, this is a frozen screwdriver, which I've never had a frozen screwdriver for. That's what it tastes like. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's really yes, good. It is, excellent. Yeah. Now, this frozen margarita, uh, margar I keep calling it margarita, frozen screwdriver, I had, was fixing to taste one a while ago, and I grabbed the glass, it slipped out of my hands, and went everywhere, <laughs> all over the table. Yeah, it was a great first presentation, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So, now, uh, so we're moving on now to breakfast. Okay. This is one of their main heads. And this is called the Bow Bridge. Bow Bridge. Ooh. Yes. And it is uh, Are you Italian be bread. White? Are you going to be Vanna White here? I will do the presentation. <laughs> Italian bread, uh, boudin, patties, and poached eggs with cheese on top. And beautiful hash browns. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. 
good? That's amazing. Now, do you need to add anything to it? No. That's just it. Now, now take a look. Take a look down here. What you can see now, what she's eating in right here. You got the hash browns back here. Ooh, I like the hash browns. Oh, but the boudin, the boudin. Oh, really? uh, I want to call it a sausage, sure. but it's just That's a right. boudin patty, right. and it is tremendous. The texture's just right. It goes with the egg, and it goes with the bread. Oh my goodness! Now it all works. That's out of bounds. Out of bounds? Ooh, I like that. That's out of bounds. Now put a little ketchup on the, uh, the hash browns right here. I don't even think they need it. Oh, I do. I like hash browns. I used I used to have a fork. Uh -uh. Oh, I know. You got the fork. <laughs> now can I? I can have silverware. Certainly. I know you have silverware because you got to have silverware if you're gonna eat some food. You know. All of these textures just work perfectly together. Yes. And what I like about and all this... And it's creamy, and the, and the cheese, and the egg. Yes. And the, all, the of, camera, all of it camera. just really, really, really works well together. Yep. It's <laughs> yeah. wonderful. Ooh, i got to try some of these hash browns right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could do this all day long. You could, and I, and I, and I just sit here and watch you. <laughs> <laughs> This is the perfect drink. Bloody Mary. Oh, perfect Bloody Mary. Ooh, I perfect like that. Perfect Bloody Mary. Okay. Okay, so you saw I showed. Yeah, yeah. So there's a certain way you have to show it. Show yeah, it, show it. you got to shake, shake, shake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, isn't Look that pretty? That. And what is this around oh, the edge? beautiful. What's that around the edge? That's like a, a salt and pepper yeah. uh, shake that they put on with a... Lime and an olive. Ooh. And I think you're going to get a little bit of that in every have, sip. Have a taste. And? And? Oh, that's drum fantastic. Roll, drum roll? Yes, drum roll. <laughs> that's exactly right. That is amazing. Now, as, as we, now we've got a dessert coming. Yeah. Yeah. And this dessert is called beignet. Yes. And it's uh, a French word, isn't it? Something like that? A French word? Some well, kind yeah. Of it comes from the French Quarter in New Orleans. Do you know Beignets. Beignets. Yes. And it's, I asked the, uh, I asked the uh, manager uh, what was in the beignet, and uh, she couldn't tell me. It was a secret. Oh, <laughs> it's a secret so, so, recipe. So you have to well, go get into this. Okay, well, we have to. Here, here I got a fork right oh, here. Oh, well, forget the fork. Oh. No, you don't need that. Oh, don't so these are light, light, really lightly fried puff pastries. Now, and... You know, fried and sprinkled with powdered sugar. A lot of powdered sugar. I believe that. Yeah, don't inhale when you eat. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Is that yummy? Take a look. Take a look at that right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Basically, it's a, a puffed up uh, watermelon. Is that what it is? <laughs> puffed up. It's puffed up dough. Dough. You know. Super light, yeah. super light, super fluffy. Mm. Oh my gosh, mm. that's amazing. Now, I mean, I feel like I'm in New Orleans. I hear that. Now, and what, I'm not. Now, so this is just the uh, the front of the dessert that's coming. They make homemade pies here. Oh, to my die for. Goodness. Oh, we got all oh. out here, and I want every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, not before I get to them. <laughs> so. Hey, we're hitting dessert, and I would love for you to come join us. Check this out. We've got a peanut butter pie here. Beautiful. Bread uh, bread crumb topping. That, the, that, is, that is peanut butter. It is peanut butter. There's peanut butter on the bottom. Right. Peanut butter then, on top. No, well, yeah, peanut butter crumbs. Crumbs. Crumbs okay. on top. And then... Um, the special secret filling on the inside. Yeah, that they won't tell us. That's right. So, you know, we're, we're gonna you're going to have to miss out this, on this that is, one. This is yours. This is mine. We're going to try it. We're going to try this. Mm. And a whipped cream in the middle. You know, I tell mm. you, it tastes just like peanut butter. It really <laughs> does. Even though they call it a peanut very, butter pie. Very creamy. Very yummy. Yeah, it's Whole House cookie pie. It looks absolutely luscious. Now look at that ice cream on top. I know. 
Oh, God. Yeah, and you don't get any of this. It's called my name. No, it's, it's not. No, name. it's got my name written all over it. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, what do I have? No, you got to take a bite. Well, I will. Okay, what I have here is... Absolutely rich and delectable. Oh, my gosh. And with the ice cream... Oh, oh, how's it taste? How's it taste? Make you slap somebody. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Oh, I gotta have a bite. I gotta have a bite. It's so good. I love it's ice so cream. Good. The, crum oh. the the crumbly topping yeah. with the crust mm. and that in your lap. All <laughs> over my lap. And this stuff is a hot. This stuff, it is warm. It's it's been heated up and um, that, that's the reason why they call it a la mode. Why they call it a la mode on over? It's a la mode all over your <laughs> lap. Anyway, um, the crust is perfect. The, the, the topping is wonderful. It melds well with... It's, it's almost like eating like raw cookie dough. Right. Raw cookie dough? Uh, that's good. I like well, that. People I like, like that. I'm not, I'm, I prefer but, mine cooked. But. but there is chocolate in here, too. Yeah. Because it's Tall House cookie. Because think about when Mama made Tall House cookies, chocolate chip cookies out of the oven... That's what this pie is right here. It with, is. With the ice cream on top of it. Totally. And with a with a crispy crunch yes. on top. Yeah. Now, the crunch factor is really, really good. Now, what our viewers don't realize is these pies are all homemade just for this restaurant. Right. Right. And they started here. This was just a mega pie place when they first started yeah, this restaurant. What was this place first? What was it going to be? Was oh, it was going to be a marine supply store. Oh, really? And, and that's just crazy. And then it completely turned into um, a restaurant. And pies. Ooh. And it started with pies. Now, now what we got? What, look at here. Look at look oh, what we got here. Oh, look at this beast. Oh, golly. And okay. This is a uh, meringue coconut pie right here. And talking about huge. Oh, it is, God. I, I could just bury my face. Meringue, in, I could bury my face into that. <laughs> <laughs> the meringue is like mile high. Yeah, it's exactly. absolutely gorgeous. Exactly. And that's hard to accomplish. Trust right. me. Now, we're right. here at Classic Cafe. We're here at NASA Road 1 and in Seabrook, Texas. And uh, now, tasting this chocolate pie that I've got right here. Oh. Now the, the oh, that looks great. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's got a taste of all of its own. That, that all of its own means it's all oh, it's chocolate. so rich. It's all chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. So chocolate. rich. Well, you get the richness of the chocolate. Yes. And then you get the lightness of the whipped cream. Yes. And then you get the chocolate again on top. Bam. Oh, bam! That's bam. so good. You know what? It's it's like. I think it's time to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah. Let's do. Uh, this is the end of another show to, today. It's since it's bright outside, and uh, we've had a great time here at Classic Cafe. And we're so glad you could join and us. And Mary really helped us out a lot. She set did. Oh, set us up. She's the manager here, and she really did a great job. She did. And Amy's another manager here, and she helped out a lot. And this is awesome. And Brad's the owner. Brad's the owner. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shall we? Shall we? See, See ya. ya.